all our sports today family members what a match we witnessed yesterday i mean whether we should call that a great match was it a great advertisement for t20 cricket that remains to be seen because in the rcb versus sunrisers hyderabad encounter that happened at the m chinna swami stadium 549 runs were hit 287 of it by the sunrisers hyderabad just about 2 weeks ago they had hit the highest total in ipl history versus the mumbai indians that they won by 31 runs here they won by 25 runs which showed that pat cummins' reading of the pitch was absolutely i mean in god mode because he said that 240s a par total they went 47 runs over par and it proved to be that because had they just made 240 or 250 rcb could have chased it down on what was not a pitch it was a butcher stable rcb have the weakest bowling lineup in there in the entire of the ipl why on earth would you want to dish out an absolute shirt front that's the question that rcb will be wanting to ask because royal challengers bengaluru have now lost their sixth game out of seven and in order to stay in contention for the playoffs they need to win seven out of seven can it be done that remains to be seen now but the major trend that is going around at this point when you look at social media oh dk dinesh karthik is the real thala he needs to be there for the t20 world cup dk for t20 world cup don't retire that is the current trend going on yesterday towards the fag end we saw some insane hitting from dinesh karthik and one hit in particular that he hit of team natrajan 108 meters a full ball on the pads he hit it out of the stadium and that 108 meter six has really gone viral on social media so dinesh karthik for the t20 world cup at this point in time hmm that do we want to repeat the mistake of what happened in 2024 that is the situation but now two years later why would you want a dk yet again considering that okay ipl is a different kettle of fish at this point in time you are looking at a situation where will he leapfrog sanju samson or will he leapfrog rishabh pant or jitesh sharma in that sense if that is the case if dk is included in the squad then only one change out of the 2022 t20 world cup will happen now this is where i bring the pitch into equation everybody travis had at a 39 ball 100 then um, heinrich klassen managed a brilliant uh, quick fire 50 dk got runs virat got runs faf got runs although virat didn't hit a half century 210 strike rate but that pitch is this the right pitch for a t20 situation i mean harsha bogle the former uh, i mean harsha bogle the current india commentator has stated that there has to be a balance yesterday there were 12 bowling machines at batters out of that one bowling machine got three wickets that was pat cummins cummins was the only guy who read the pitch well and he managed to ensure that yes his bowling at that point in time was really really excellent about it now you look at the pitch and you look at the small boundary dimensions about it is this truly a good advertisement for t20 cricket yes even the hyderabad wicket that was there in which uh, sunrisers hyderabad hit 277 versus the mumbai indians there was a murmur there was a murmur about the pitch whether it is really really up to standards at this point but at the chinna swami with already so many if you look at it the boundaries are so small with the pitch being made like a butcher's table why on earth would you want to prepare such a pitch and the worst part about it is faf duplessis got the pitch interpretation wrong he said it would be two paced it was only one pace and that was flat 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 that is the current situation when you have to look at it why on earth would the rcb team or the chinna swami curators prepare such a wicket which ensured that the weakest bowling unit in the entire ipl gets this so you have to raise questions on that also i mean it isn't an ideal situation that royal challengers bengaluru find themselves in and to think their upcoming games one is against kkr another one is against csk it's not going to get any easier for them so that's why 
some predictors have stated that RCB's chances of reaching the playoffs is zero. Yes, zero. That is the current situation that we've got. So, Pat Cummins, I mean, yet again, God mode reading of the pitch. He said 240 is a par total. Guess what? He was correct. And that is the reason why it is a very, very good situation that SRH find themselves in. I mean, from the wooden spooners last year to now in serious top four contention. Now, many people will say, oh, you, it was a blunder to drop Glenn Maxwell. But Glenn Maxwell actually requested the RCB management for some rest. He requested them that mentally he's not in that space. He's requested a mental break. So at this point in time, RCB may be losing Glenn Maxwell for an indefinite period of time. We don't know when Glenn Maxwell will be back. So that is one major development that is coming up. Glenn Maxwell requested the RCB management that he be rested for the game versus Sunrisers Hyderabad because mentally he was not in. And now you may see him missing certain games for RCB. Six matches, 32 runs, it is taking a toll. And that's why Glenn Maxwell, we hope that he can recover in time and ensure that he gives at least some modicum of respect in IPL 2024. Because if he's out, then you are in big trouble at this point. So RCB have been dealt a big Maxwell jolt at this point. So that is the current situation regarding SRX versus RCB. At this point in time, now we are looking at the broader T20 World Cup. And we are all wondering, right, why Hardik Pandya is bowling so often? According to a report in the Indian Express, selectors have been given, have told Hardik Pandya the clear brief. If he has to be considered for the India team setup, then he has to bowl. If he just doesn't bowl, he comes in as a batter, he's not making it. Now the selectors, Rahul Dravid, Aj I mean, I mean Rahul Dravid, the India head coach, Ajit Agarkar and the rest of the selectors have met last week. And they are finalizing plans for the T20 World Cup also. And it looks like Hardik Pandya will be there in the Indian cricket team. Shivam Dube might not make it because Dube doesn't bowl. That is the problem that is there. If Hardik Pandya bowls, then he's making it to the Indian team. But as far as this point is concerned, it is worrying because Hardik Pandya, the bowler, has not stepped up in the uh, IPL so far. His economy rate is over 12. And if that is the situation, the T20 World Cup, there is a big, big concern. Hardik does give you that stability. But how on earth are you going to ensure that if his bowling doesn't pick up, how will his batting pick up? In the IPL, you are seeing that he's having a torrid time, all the criticism that is coming at him. And he's trying to ensure that he's Mr. Nice Guy. Not helped by the fact that the fans are playing the ultimate pantomime villains in this case. Yes, the villains that the fans are playing, they themselves don't know about it. And that's why the booing that is there, all the criticism that is there, we all know that it is not about winning, it is not about losing anymore in the case of Hardik Pandya. I'm sorry, that theory has been thrown out of the window because in the two games that was there and in the game against Chennai Super Kings, he was booed. So that is why in the quest for a very myopic fan base, you have you are potentially destroying an India selection. That is the situation that's there. So it is a really, really big situation at this point. So Hardik Pandya has to be bowling well so that he can be considered for the T20 World Cup. Otherwise, there is a Shivam Dubey, but Dubey's selection is not happening that much because he's not bowling. Now, as far as the other situations concerned in the world of other sports, Candidates Chess 2024, we are heading into the third rest day today and boy oh boy, it's still six people, six people in the race yet because Vidit Gujarati drew his game, Gukesh drew with uh, Nepomniashi and that's why when Prag and Vidit drew, the situation remained the same. Gukesh stays on top with Yan Nepomniashi and uh, Gukesh, if you have to look at it, he employed the Rui Lopez opening and that's why it was a very, very big situation. Now we just have four more rounds remaining and an Indian is still on top with Nepam Niyashi. Pragnananda is just half a point behind. In the remaining four rounds, anything can happen. And on April 22, you can actually dream. A big dream might come about in uh, on April 22 if one of the Indians wins the candidates. If any one of the Indians wins the candidates tournament, it is going to be a historic setting. 
in the history of chess. And yesterday also there was a major, major shoe gate controversy at the candidates with Ali Reza Firoja being told by the chief arbiter that your shoes are making too much noise. This came after Nijar Abbasov complained. And yesterday his father was also escorted out of the venue and he threatened police action as well. I'll be doing a special video on Ali Reza Firoja and the controversies that have happened about the attire, what the attire needs to be. But it also draws questions on the organizers. If, they, they, if your shoes are making a noise, why can't you have the flooring which will ensure that the noise will be absorbed? Really, really weird indeed. I'll be doing a very special video on that. So do check that out when that comes up on sports today. Now, as far as I'll take some comments at this point in time. Shreyansh Putipati, I think Pat Cummins has to be declared a national treasure. Man has absolute luck and his pitch reading never seen a captain predicting score before a match. Shreyansh, if, if Pat Cummins helps SRH win the IPL 2024 title, build the man a statue. That man is has got a very uncanny ability now and remember if he wins the IPL if he goes on to win the T20 World Cup and seven months later he goes on to win the Champions Trophy the greatest captain in the modern day of cricket period he's already won it as captain in two formats he'll be gunning for a third title and that two World Test Championship Ashes and World Cup the three-peat in 2023, I don't think any other captain will ever, ever achieve that. Pat Cummins is not a national treasure. He's a treasure, period, at this point. So, did DK perform in 2020 T20 World Cup? And also, you won't get flat pitches. Meher Saheed is saying that. And also, very unfair for Sanju after they start to perform consistency. Meher Saheed, yes, exactly. DK did perform in 2022. And that's why he got the immediate jump to the Australia T20 World Cup tournament. But here, flat pitches, that's why you have to take it to the back full of swords. Already Sanju Samson and Jitesh, if you look at it, Jitesh is there. But then he's also not set the stage on fire. Honestly, there's Rishabh Pant with the emotional quotient factor. DK so far has had a very good strike rate. But we have seen that and we've heard that in 2022 as well. What's changed? We know with the Indian cricket setup, nothing changes. So... It will be very unfair on Sanju Samson and Rishabh Pant if DK makes it. It will be very unfair, but then that's the mood. Recency bias. That is how it works, Meher Saeed. That's the way it is. Was the toss fixed in the match of MI versus RCB? Faf was actually something to pat. See, there is a video going around that, yes, Faf had said like how Hardik Pandya had launched the coin and how everything was like, it was a bit dodgy, but look. There is nothing called as a toss fixing thing. There was an allegation that Jawagal Srinath had flipped the coin and then said, oh, the toss was in their favor. You watch the video closely. Nothing was fixed. Either eyes are a trouble or mentally there is something wrong. If people misinterpret that also, there is nothing wrong in that video that was there. It was just saying like the way how the, the coin was tossed. Videos need to have a certain context and a foreground. Social media, that's why don't trust them. Don't trust social media at all. Uh, KK is asking, guys, do you think if RCB batted first and RCB would have been able to cross over 200? Definitely. Definitely if RCB would have batted first, they would have made 240. And they would have chased it down. SRH, if that was the case. Mainly, I have a feeling that RCB wanted to chase a total because they believe chasing is their stronger suit. You look at the all the other games where they have lost. KKR game, they lost while posting a total. CSK lost while posting a total. Then you look at the RR lost while posting a total. MI lost while posting a total. Here, they thought that okay, they will chase first. But SRH got 40 runs over par, which is why RCB would have made about 240 or 250. But SRH would have chased it down because their bowling unit is so weak. For the first time, four pay, all the four paces conceded over 50 runs. First time ever it's happened in a T20 match. That's how bad it has been for RCB. But they don't agree. Sports fan don't agree with pitch critics. They don't come to criticize slow spin pitches of Chepov and Ekana, which are not watchable at all. That is why I said, absolutely. It is a big, big issue that is there. Pitch criticism, as always, is very, very subjective, sports fan. 
an absolutely flat road or an absolute spin deck. That's a problem. There is no balance in that. And by the way, if you look at it in Chepok, that has kind of changed. The level of degree of spin that is there, it's much higher where? In RCB, at the Chinnaswami, Chepok is second, a distant second. So pitch critics, if you look at it, look, there is always a situation wherein whether it's right, whether it's wrong, it's a very subjective thing at this point. JRK, super over necessary in the league stage matches apart from the knockouts in the IPL. Well, you don't want a tie, you want a winner. So that's why a super over is a must. Uh, KK, DK should be completely ignored for World Our boat is already half sunk. If DK comes, our boat will be completely lost in the ocean. Yes, at this time, your boat has got a lot of uh, holes in it, KK. And this... KK is not advocating for DK. So, in that sense, Shriyansh Puddi Petty said, Credit has to be given to SRS scoring, batting first, without knowing the pitch and scoring big uh, scores is slowly coming. Absolutely. I mean, credit to Travis Head, credit to Heinrich Klassen. I mean, Travis Head, whenever he sees the color blue, he goes mad. I mean, look at it. India, then Mumbai Indians, now RCB. Travis Head, when he sees the color blue, he just has a different mentality monster altogether. And that's why it was a sight to see him bludgeon those runs. Eight overs, 108. And by the way, RCB were ahead of SRH in the power play. That showed how flat the wicket was, how Duplessy and Virat Kohli reacted to that situation. As I said, in a chase, nothing can be said about Virat Kohli. He is an absolute beast in it. Yes, he got out. That broke the spirit of RCB. But DK, man, oh man, insane hitting. You just have to appreciate the hitting. Otherwise, nothing else. Meher Saeed, Pat silenced all the top three fan, uh, fan base of IPN. Also, two of them being most successful franchise. As I said, Pat Cummins is a treasure, man. He is Clark Kent. I'll not call him Pat Cummins. I'll call him Clark Kent. He is Superman. And by the way, if he wears those goggles, he does look like Clark Kent. I mean... Give him a role in a Hollywood film, yeah. Pat Cummins really does look the part in it. Jay Shah, KK is saying, Jay Shah has already said that Rohit is our captain and Hardik is vice captain and we will uh, WC. Anybody please say to Jay Shah, this platform is not for these kind of things. I mean, see, if the board secretary is like saying all these things, you have to carry it. So that's the thing. Virat Kohli, Sanju Sky, Meher Saeed is saying, Dubey promotive spin is just like CSK using Hardik, Rinku, Aksar, Kuldi, Bumrah, Arshdeep. Good selection, I would say. JR Gammon, RR friend, RR still seems to be an unpredictable team. Today, you will come to know how unpredictable they are because RR are taking on KKR today and that is going to be a very interesting clash. If KKR win, they go through to the top. That's how uh, the situation is. Nothing more depressing if you're an RCB fan. Magnus, I totally agree. And I think they are inspired by Dante's Inferno. Nine stages of hell. RCB will go through nine stages of hell to realize paradise. That is how it is, Magnus. I'll be explaining that. Dante's Inferno. That is the theme that RCB management seems to be following at this point in time. Let the team go through nine stages of hell. And then we will achieve paradise. That's the situation. Can a uh, Hardik bowl full quota? If not, then Dubey is fine because Roe use the six bowling option very less. See, it depends upon your team composition also, KK. Hardik... May not still bowl, you may have other options also. You have two spinners, you have three pacers, plus Hardik is your fourth pacer. So that's the current situation. Sports fans, six are in favor for candidates. This is the most competitive. How do you see Vilich's double victory over Hikaru? Sports fan, it is the most competitive candidates that I can ever think of. I mean, Vilich's double victory over Nakamura is one of the biggest feats in there. And by the way, he has equaled... Vidit is now in an extreme chaos situation. He's had the most wins, but he's also had the most losses. Three wins, three losses. With Vidit, it is it is there. It is not now or nothing. That is the situation with him. A tremendous, tremendous win twice over Hikaru Nakamura at this point. That is why he's still somehow, some way in the candidates. But Gukesh and Pragnananda, I mean, if those two, if either of those two win, they just have to hold their nerve now for four more rounds. It is going to be a very historic April 21 if they manage to do it. So, a big red letter day is loading. Do you think SRH win title then captain of Aussies will be changed? KK, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's happening. 
Shivam Shah also both the interim Ali Reza's father and Fide's statements out related to Ali Reza has many issues with the arbiter in the past. Yes, I will be doing a special video on that. I will also be giving you the rules. What is the dress code for all these kind of things? What do you think about RCB's batting? Pawan Suresh. Imagine McGurk on Chinna Swami, Daniel M. What do you think about RCB batting? Mm, uh, the emoji is there, no? Straight lipped. That's the batting. Imagine McGurk in Chinna Swami. Yes, it's scary. Who will excel today? Chehel or Narain? Both will excel JRK. I have empathy for Ali Reza, but sometimes he comes across as arrogant. Uh, this is a very dodgy situation here, Shivam Vishal, regarding Ali Reza. There is a special thing. Yes, I know that in the past it's happened. But yes, he's a very aloof guy, that I can say about it. Savai Man Singh, ground pitch is perfect. Those pitches are good where tosses don't become a factor. KK. Yes, India can't rely on chasing all the time for Virat. Absolutely, they can't. Who would other pacers apart from Boom Boom? Siraj is not in good form. Avesh is also not in good form. You've got a problem there, Arts with Nandan. You're right. A super chat. So much try with a super chat. Well done. Every time we discuss, you make us remember 2020 T20 World Cup. In the same way, when we discuss about Hardik, if he's not bowling fit, it will be 2021. Exactly. That's why he's bowling. But you've got a problem because he is conceding 12 runs and over. That's the problem. The bowling is a big, big worry. Daniel, I'm worried about India paces apart from Bumrah. Be worried, Daniel. Be very, very worried. Devraj, DK should play. As I said, it's the current situation. Mayor Saeed, if team scores 250 plus in first innings, second innings team has to go for it from first ball. They go with run rate and chase it down because of our mindset of losing wicket. We never went like that in first. Yeah, that's the issue. That's it. But then what could you do? You are morally down. I mean, 250 gave you hope, but 287. No, it's not happening. Mayor Saeed innings. Okay, Devraj, DK best finish at the moment in world cricket. The stats don't lie in the IPL at this point, but been there, done that, Devraj, 2022. KKR, current moment, what is your 11? I have said that, I mean, my current 11 based on the recency form would be Rohit, uh, Shubman, Virat, Sky, Hardik, Rinku, Pant, that's seven. And then you've got a Kuldeep, Jaddu. And if you want to have that, Hardik is anyway your third pacer. Siraj and Bumrah. Avesh is there as the other thing. If you play Avesh, then one of the spinners doesn't play. That's my 11 at this point. So, the Arshdeep Singh, my second pacer, Pawan Suresh. That's also a good plan, but even Arshdeep is struggling. So, thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this morning wrap. We'll be back with more updates on sports today. Special videos coming up on Ali Reza, Firoja, and also about the selection. Do check that out on sports today when that comes up in the afternoon. So, bye bye, folks, and do watch out for the KKR versus RR match that's going to happen today at the Eden Gardens. Bye bye.